Ah, the sun, that blazing ball of fire in the sky. Without the sun, life as we know it would simply cease to exist. It's the ultimate giver of life, drenching our planet in warmth and light. Imagine a world perpetually shrouded in darkness, a chilling, lifeless void. Thankfully, we have our very own star, a celestial giant that holds the solar system in its gravitational embrace. So, buckle up. We're about to embark on a journey to the center of our solar system where we'll unlock the secrets of the sun and discover how this celestial giant shapes our world in countless ways. The sun, you see, is not a solid ball of fire as it might appear. It's a giant ball of plasma, a superheated state of matter where electrons roam free. Think of it as a gigantic glowing ocean of charged particles. Now this celestial giant is absolutely massive. It accounts for a staggering 99.86% of the total mass of our solar system. To put that into perspective, you could fit roughly 1.3 million Earths inside the sun. Imagine the sun as a gigantic onion with layers upon layers of hot, glowing gas. We can't exactly peel back these layers like we would with an onion, but scientists have developed ingenious ways to study them. Through telescopes and spacecraft, we've gained a remarkable understanding of the sun's internal structure. The outermost layer, the one we see from Earth, is called the photosphere. It's a relatively thin layer, only a few hundred kilometers thick, but it's the source of most of the sun's light and heat that reach us. Beneath the photosphere lies the chromosphere, a region of rising temperatures and dynamic activity. Think of it as the sun's atmosphere where temperatures can soar to tens of thousands of degrees. Now let's journey to the heart of the sun, its mighty core. This is where the real action happens, the engine room of our star. The core is a place of unimaginable pressure and heat, a realm where temperatures reach a staggering 15 million degrees Celsius. It's in this extreme environment that the sun generates its energy through a process called nuclear fusion. Every second, the sun converts millions of tons of hydrogen into helium in its core, releasing a mind-boggling amount of energy. Surrounding the core is the radiative zone, a vast region extending outwards for about 70% of the sun's radius. Here, the energy released by nuclear fusion begins its journey outward in the form of photons, tiny packets of light. These photons don't have an easy time escaping the sun. They bounce around, being absorbed and re-emitted by atoms countless times, gradually losing energy as they make their way through the dense plasma. This journey through the radiative zone can take hundreds of thousands, even millions of years. Having journeyed through the dense radiative zone, energy from the sun's core finally reaches a more dynamic region, the convective zone. Imagine a boiling pot of water with bubbles rising and falling in a chaotic dance. The convective zone is similar, but instead of water, we have plasma heated from below by the radiative zone. As the plasma near the radiative zone heats up, it becomes less dense and rises like a hot air balloon towards the sun's surface. This rising plasma carries the sun's energy along with it. This constant churning, this convective flow of plasma, is what gives the sun's surface its granulated appearance. We've talked about energy making its way out from the sun's core, but how is this energy actually produced? The answer lies in the heart of the sun, where unimaginable forces are at play. In the sun's core, under the immense pressure and heat, hydrogen atoms, the lightest and most abundant in the universe, are forced together with incredible force. They fuse, merging to form a new element, helium. This process, called nuclear fusion, is the ultimate energy source of the sun. When these atoms fuse, a tiny bit of their mass is converted into a tremendous amount of energy. This fusion reaction is happening continuously in the sun's core, powering the star and bathing our solar system in warmth and light. Now, how does a tiny bit of mass transform into such a colossal amount of energy? This is where Albert Einstein's famous equation, ELMC2, comes into play. It's a deceptively simple equation that reveals a profound truth about the universe. 
In this equation, E represents energy, M represents mass, and C is the speed of light, which is a mind-bogglingly large number. What this equation tells us is that mass and energy are interchangeable, two sides of the same coin. The fusion of hydrogen into helium in the sun's core releases only a tiny fraction of the original mass as energy, but because the speed of light is so incredibly large, that tiny fraction translates into a colossal amount of energy that powers the sun and sustains life on Earth. We've journeyed to the heart of the sun, witnessed the fiery dance of nuclear fusion, and seen how energy is born in the star's core. But the sun's influence doesn't end there. Like a cosmic lighthouse, it casts its energy far and wide, bathing our entire solar system in its warmth. Think of the sun's energy as a traveler embarking on an epic journey. After being generated in the core, it spends hundreds of thousands of years slowly making its way to the surface, tossed about in the turbulent convective zone. Finally, it breaks free from the sun's gravitational clutches and sets off across the vast emptiness of space as radiant energy, traveling at the speed of light, a staggering 299,792 kilometers per second. From the moment the first rays of sunlight kiss the Earth's surface each morning, our planet starts warming up. The sun's energy, arriving as light and heat, is the engine that drives our climate system. It's this solar energy that warms the Earth's surface, causing the air above it to heat up and rise. This rising air creates areas of low pressure, while cooler, denser air rushes in to fill the void, giving birth to winds. The sun's energy also plays a crucial role in the water cycle. As sunlight warms the oceans and lakes, water evaporates, rising into the atmosphere as water vapor. While climate refers to the long-term patterns of temperature and precipitation in a region, weather is the state of the atmosphere at a particular time and place. And just as the sun governs our climate, it also plays a leading role in the daily drama of weather. Remember those winds we talked about driven by the sun's uneven heating of the earth? These winds combined with the earth's rotation create complex weather patterns from gentle breezes to powerful storms. The sun's energy also fuels the formation of clouds, those fluffy white masses that bring rain or snow. As warm, moist air rises and cools, water vapor condenses around tiny particles in the atmosphere, forming cloud droplets. We've explored the sun's awesome power, its role in shaping our planet's climate and weather, but there's a more fundamental connection we share with our star, one that goes to the very heart of what makes our planet so special. The sun is, quite literally, the spark of life on Earth. Without the sun's constant stream of energy, our planet would be a barren, lifeless rock. It's the sun's energy that drives the complex processes that make life possible, from the smallest microbe to the largest whale. Imagine Earth as a giant machine, a complex system of interconnected parts, all working together. The sun is the fuel that keeps this machine running, the energy source that powers all life. At the heart of this life-giving process lies a remarkable feat of nature photosynthesis. It's a silent symphony orchestrated by plants, algae, and certain bacteria and it's one of the most important chemical reactions on Earth. Imagine tiny solar panels, greener than the freshest spring leaves, capturing the sun's energy. That's what's happening inside every leaf, every blade of grass, every phytoplankton in the ocean. These green factories use a special pigment called chlorophyll to capture the sun's light energy. They then use this energy to power a chemical reaction that converts water and carbon dioxide into glucose, a type of sugar that serves as food for the plant. While photosynthesis is the most direct way the sun sustains life, its influence extends far beyond the green world of plants. Animals, including humans, benefit from the sun's energy in countless other ways. Think of the warmth you feel on a sunny day, the way your skin absorbs the sun's rays. This warmth is essential for regulating our body temperature, keeping us comfortable and allowing our organs to function properly. The sun also provides us with a vital nutrient vitamin D. 
When our skin is exposed to sunlight, it triggers the production of vitamin D, which is essential for strong bones, a healthy immune system, and overall well-being. Section 1. Our Star, Our Future As we conclude our journey to the heart of our star, we're left with a profound sense of awe and gratitude. The Sun, a celestial giant that has graced our skies for billions of years, is far more than just a bright light in the sky, it's the lifeblood of our planet, the engine that drives our climate, the source of energy that sustains all life on Earth. From the depths of its core, where hydrogen atoms fuse into helium in a symphony of nuclear reactions, to the delicate dance of its atmosphere, where solar flares erupt and the solar wind streams out into space, the Sun is a constant source of fascination and wonder. Understanding the Sun is not just an academic pursuit, it's crucial for our future. As we face the challenges of climate change and the need for sustainable energy sources, the Sun offers both a warning and a beacon of hope. By studying the Sun's influence on Earth's climate, we gain a deeper understanding of our own planet's delicate balance and the potential consequences of our actions. And by harnessing the Sun's boundless energy through solar power, we can create a cleaner, more sustainable future for generations to come. Section 2, A Universe of Wonder The Sun is a constant reminder of our place in the cosmos. It's a humbling thought that our very existence, every breath we take, every beat of our hearts, is intimately connected to this giant ball of plasma millions of kilometers away. As we gaze up at the night sky, filled with countless stars, each one a distant sun, we realize that our sun is just one of billions upon billions of stars in the universe, each with its own story to tell. This realization sparks a sense of wonder and curiosity. What other secrets does the universe hold? Are there other planets orbiting those distant stars, perhaps even harboring life? These are questions that continue to drive scientific exploration and ignite our imaginations. So the next time you feel the warmth of the sun on your face, take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey that energy has taken from the heart of a star to your very skin.